Okay, I'm back. Just had a lunch. And um, drank a lot of water. I got a halls in my mouth. Try to make my throat feel a little better. But here's where we left it. And um, just using that crepe pot. So now we're going to start getting closer to the actual colors here in the cat. And the first thing I want to do is I think I want to darken the nose out a little bit more. Because I'm going to look at the reference here. It's really brown. Right, right in the interior part of the face. And I really want to put that in there. So I'm going to come back to the crepe paws and um, just make that brown. <clears throat> and um, so I'm just going to go right over this, right in the interior part of the face here. It's just darker. Even on the sides here, right in here, just kind of a darker orange, almost a brownish orange. All right. So I'm just going to spread that in, still using the crepe paws, and then, then we'll see where we can go from here. So I'm going to use the fixative that one time to cover the graphite, the pencil drawing. And I don't think, I thought maybe I would need more fixative, but I think I'll just leave it and go with the softer oil pastels here in a second. <clears throat> so I can get some layers going. <clears throat> That's a little darker. That's a little better. It's a little bit closer to the reference here. If you look at it, you can see the orange, you know, various shades of orange and golds. And then you have really a brown, even underneath the eye, like right here, it's a little bit more browner, a little darker orange. So I think it's easier, always easier to start darker and then work it lighter as you go through it. <clears throat> okay. Again, sorry for my throat. <laughs> I'm curious how this is going to sound here when I transfer this over to the iMovie. I don't really edit in my photo, I mean my, my videos, I just kind of increase the volume a little bit so you can hear me. But I don't take anything out. I mean, this is like real time. You can see everything. And that's about as much editing as I do. It was really just to increase volume of my voice, but that's it. So, I want you guys to see the whole process here. All right. Okay. So, that's Cray Pause, just a rare. I just darkened it a little bit. All right. Get me a little closer to to my reference here. Okay, now we're gonna come into the other brands here. So let's look let's look at the colors of the cat. Lots of different oranges, golds, ochres, stuff like that. So I'm gonna start just pulling some stuff out. And I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them. But um, it helps to have a, a variety of different colors, right? Um, just to see, I need some lighter ones. I'll go back to my reference again. And for the white, no, so, so for the whites, right, and the eyes, we're gonna go with the light. We're gonna go with the gray. Okay, maybe this kind of um, off gray. It, it leans a little tan, maybe. And there's more of a silvery gray, kind of lemon ash gray, right? 
it helps to have some different variations of gray. So I'm not going to go white at the beginning. I'm not going to do go, go. Don't go white. Don't start with white. Start with like a light gray. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe that'll come into play. I'm just kind of guessing, maybe not. Get some different oranges in there. These are really bright, vibrant. I'm not sure how I'll use them, but we'll figure it out. Who knows, maybe this will be in use somehow. All right, so most of these are gonna be, um, most of these sticks here you see, mostly Moon Geos. And maybe some Van Goghs. That's a Van Gogh right there. And then these are. This is a Neo Pastel. And this was probably a. I'm just looking at the thickness of it. Probably a Moon Geo here. Maybe a silver gray. You can see that's a Moon Geo gallery. Okay, so this is definitely softer than my gray pause. So we're going a little bit softer. The softest one being this Neo Pastel. Okay, so where to start? Let's see. This is the challenging part. It's where, where, where am I gonna put these oranges at? I'm just kind of looking at different shades of them. Very light here. This is a very light one. Same around the face. It's gonna be more of this one probably. <clears throat> and at the top of the head, it's a little bit of a deeper orange. But I don't know if that's the right one. I kind of want to in between something right in here. So maybe we'll use this crepe pause here. This is a, um, what is that? Brown. That's the same as this. It's almost a mix of these. All right. And we have some different ones. Let's grab that one. It's real bright. I don't really use a lot of the oranges a lot in my work. It's more of the ochres over here all right let's start with that <clears throat> let's just see let's just take this and let's see what it does this is a really bright bright orange okay so I'm just gonna pick a part of the face here let's go right here again I'm really guessing here I don't know if this is the right shade but I'm just gonna put it in and see what it looks like and notice the direction I move the stick. You see how I'm holding it? This direction of the fur, the way the fur grows. And I'm just gonna put it in and smear it with my finger and kind of play with that and see if that's gonna be what I'm, the right shade I'm looking for. And this is a Moon Geo gallery. Yeah, it's, it's close. Um, we'll go ahead and keep going with it. I can see I'm over gonna get use the brighter ones here at the edge of the face. <clears throat> I think it kind of blonde almost. It's almost like a blondish, very light towards the edge there. Again, my lines go in the direction that the fur is growing. Let's see, over here, let's go a little bit darker and then we'll come up the lighter on top. <clears throat> okay, and I'll just spread that out in a direction of that, where it grows, how it grows. We'll just spread it out, cover it up, cover up the layer underneath it. Okay, I'm going over my stripes, as you can see. No problem with that. Okay, so far so good, I think. I think we're doing okay with this choice. Let's see, going up top of the head, kind of comes out over here. I think kind of in here, it's a little bit of a deeper orange, maybe something like that. Let's see what that looks like. Let's 
this is a um, Moon Geo, but it's a little bit harder than this other orange I was putting in. Some colors, even in the same brand, are going to be different consistencies. Okay, but maybe a combination of those two. Let's get a stump out. Let's get a new stump. This is my new, I haven't even opened these. Yep, let's get a new one out. If I can, if I can do that, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, let's get a new one out. There we go. That'll just help me move the color. Keep going back to my reference. Okay, reference. <laughs> now, stripes are going to, we'll come back in later with the stripes and get those working again. Right now I'm trying to find the right orange at the right spot. Okay, Maybe down in here, a little bit more of a reddish brown. Okay, so around the face, the hair grows away from the eye, all the way around it. So it's like this, away from the eye. But on the nose, it's more like vertically down like this. And these are very short hairs, but they do have a direction that they grow in. And it kind of comes in here and then goes up. Okay. And that's a cray paw. As you can see, I'm just mixing the cray paws in with the Mungios at this point. And that's okay to do here. It'll work. You just got to get the color in. <clears throat> okay. Keep going with this this rust reddish brown color. On the smooth paper like this, it's real easy to wipe the pigment right down and do a scratch back or get it down to where it's very thin and you start seeing the paper underneath. So it's one thing I've learned about when going with a saw or a smooth paper like this or a smooth surface, it's very easy to wipe out, wipe away the oil pastel pigment. So I've learned by using different pressure you know how much how much I'm pushing in and dragging that does come into play a little bit more on a smooth surface like this all right let's add this now a little bit vibrant on top of that and trying to tone it to a little bit closer Still pretty deep there, but we'll get closer and closer. And um, bit by bit, little progress we make here and there. We eventually get a finished painting. And up here, the orange goes up in the ears a little. Around the edge of the face, it's a really light, blondish, almost white in some areas around the perimeter here. All right, longer hairs too.
longer strokes there. see those little lines I'm making but that gets that indication of fur fur going right you just kind of drag it out okay we're getting there bit by bit mark by mark gets closer and closer Now definitely around here is this really light orange, blondish. We'll have to come in with a pale yellow here and get that even closer. Okay, and then it turns a little light or here in this area. See how I'm marking it? That's how the hair is growing. <clears throat> All right, we're about in now. Let's move around. So I'm getting pretty close. With these, um, let's keep going. Let's move it up. And eventually, the little graphite drawing underneath, it goes away. You can't really see it. Get more color to add to this. I want this to be blurry here because this is kind of like the top of the shoulders in the back. Should be nice and blurry. So we start blurring it with the thumb around when we put those marks in. of the head is <clears throat> right and making it lighter those lines a little okay right just f I'm just following them um, the lightness like you see a light orange right above this white area right there so there's the white area so right about here it's a lighter orange okay same on this side it's kind of the top of the eyebrow, I guess. <clears throat> okay, let's get a pale yellow. Um, Pale yellow. Let's go with this gallery, Mungio gallery. I'm going to take the papers off. I need a pale yellow for the brightest.
parts of that, which is kind of a blondy color. Really blonde parts of this mane. It's going to be more of a grayish white. Okay, these are the colors here I'm working with. Okay, if I need a darker orange, I'm just using this rust for that. In the body, it's a little bit deeper, deeper orange. All right, and we'll spread that out. Sometimes the oil pastel wants to like curdle up in these little crumbs. When that happens, I just kind of push those back right into the painting and you can smear them out a little bit. That'll happen sometimes. All right, need deeper, deeper color, deeper orange. up into the edge right up into the edge of that tape okay now we'll come back with this one and get it closer to what it actually is see just within this 22 minutes here that we've been doing you can see we're really starting to shape up the color closer to the reference right it doesn't take very long start getting to what you want it to be now up here the pastel is trying to lift off the paper because I'm rubbing it a little bit too much so I'm going to try to move it back into where you know, I want it to be, otherwise it'll be I'll start seeing too much of the paper underneath. Okay, let's go keep going. back into it so I'm looking at the body of the tiger back here you can see the variations right light dark light okay I'm trying to I'm trying to mimic that right here light dark so it's darker like right, right in here those a little bit better and then also keeping in mind that I want it to be blurry so I'm really using my finger here to push around the color and then so we got light dark light <coughs> lighter anyways might even be a little bit of this pale yellow in here Get it even lighter. 
looks like it's lighter than what I have it. So let's see, his hair kind of grows like this, kind of away from the ear. And then it gets darker right about here where a muscle probably is, muscle growth. And then lighter down in here, but I think I'm gonna go to this one. This is a Neo Pastel, feels like a Neo Pastel. But it's, I think, the right color for this area. color kind of that edge of that face okay over here I try to move around like over here I was like all right let's move around over here and kind of do the same that way I don't get stuck I don't get stuck in one spot. Try to re try to rework and rework, and then you're like struggling. So all right, let's bring in um, even lighter than that. It should be anyways. This this light silver gray down towards here. So all oh, down here, it's really just lighter grays, darker grays. Right, so I'm looking at down in this section here, underneath the whiskers. Okay, so we might even bring a darker gray in here. Maybe this cocoa-ish color. Kind of the underneath all that whiskers and stuff. These are Neo Pastels. This one's a Mungio though. So. Parts of it look white. Don't want to start with the white. As you know, and I've said a million times, start with white and you're stuck because you can't go brighter than it, right? So let's go back down to the chin, which is kind of this white. Like a light gray underneath there. And then um, in here, I'm going to start coloring it in with this like Mungio. Basically, the whites of the face here. I'm just going to use this Mungio silver gray, I believe it, what it, it was what it is. And then if we need to go lighter, we can do that. But for this, will work out just to give me an indication where that is. So wherever I see the white in the face, I'm going with this silver Mungio, silver gray Mungio. Alright. There's that little heart shape area. It's kind of cool. And keep going around. into here it seems to be right there and then right above the heart shape it's also this 
muddy color. And it kind of filters and starts getting orange. Something like that. And you can see the marks I'm making, how it starts to start looking like real fur and hair and stuff. So less, you know, I'm not going to use my finger and soften those lines. Instead, I can kind of use this tip of the stump here to draw them out a little. Okay. Keep going with this to create the white parts of the face. And let's see here. I can see it right into here. edge of the nostril or the muzzle. And then right around the eyes. We'll put that in there. It's pretty much almost white. here like kind of on the top of the brow area it's all white up there it kind of filters in all right so many cool colors of this cat you know, underneath that eye, I probably should go a darker gray to indicate that there's a lid, you know, contour in your, the face a little bit. So maybe we'll put in this kind of chocolate cocoa gray into it. Same with right in here. It's right, right above the eye. It's just a darker version of that white. And then, um, Take my stump and try to blend it a little better. <clears throat> and then lighter here. And then underneath it is pretty light. I save the interior of the eye. That's kind of a last, last detail, last thing I do. One of the last things I do. I don't do the eyes first. I have to spend a little time more careful on when I get to that part. I like to do the rest of this face. So right above here, it's also white. <clears throat> All right. Try to keep those patterns of the stripes as close to what I'm seeing. So I'll put in a little bit more pressure, get some color into there. <clears throat> All right, 
and then just move it down to the muzzle right here. Probably a little bit of this cocoa down towards the bottom of it. So we'll smear some of that down in there. And then maybe closer to where it meets the lips, a little darker. But then under here, it's just brighter. Here, it's um, a little bit of that orange is coming down into this area. I'm using the tip of the stump to really drag the color in the direction that hair grows. Try not to use my fingers in this middle part of the face. And then right here, it is a white, but it's a very, it's, it's kind of a grayish. But I put that cocoa down first and then put this silver gray over the top of that and smear it around. I'll get close to what I was looking for. Closer. Just gonna have patience to find the right mix. <clears throat> Go back down to the chin and I want a brighter. Let's try this mule pastel that's kind of leaning tannish, very light tan gray, but it's a little bit brighter than that silver because it's a little softer, it lays down softer, so it's a little bit thicker color down in the chin. Maybe we can put some of that up in here. So you can see the color kind of lays on top of those other ones very easily because it's the Neo Pastel. It has a little bit more pigment into it, so it comes off a little, a little more vibrant. So it appears a little bit more lighter. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at that back and take a look at it. We're getting there. We're getting closer. So Neil Pastels to 
really well on top of the Mungios. They're definitely softer than the Mungios. So when going from hard to soft, you know, Curry Paws is the harder one, right? Hardest consistency. And then it's going to be Van Gogh's for the most part and Mungios then after that. And then Neo Pastels. And then the Sens are the softest. Okay. And so that's important when you're layering to know which ones you're going to go with. What's going to work for you when you start putting color down. You want the color to sit down. <coughs> right. And it's nice when it sits right on top of that other layer that you put down. stump here to help kind of blend it in a little kind of spread the color out a little all right piece by piece we get there a little bit different orange this is a moon gel it's kind of a deeper true orange actually Checking it here. What a cool looking animal, right? These tigers are so awesome. Of course, seeing something else like this in the wild, looking at you like this, you're like, oh, that, this is it. <laughs> this is the way I'm going to go, get eaten by a tiger. Can you imagine how scared I would be seeing something like this out in the wild? Knowing that it can take you down. Knowing that it, it could just eat you. There's nothing you could do about that. <clears throat> but they are pretty animals very beautiful animals all right so i'm kind of trying to match what i'm doing is i'm trying to just match all the various oranges blondes ochres i'm just trying to match them just trying to find the right stick for that Right. Once you kind of get through, you'll kind of know as you go through your painting which one to grab, which one's going to work for you. This is that pale yellow. All right. And then, of course, always stroke it in the direction the fur is growing. Okay. grab a different one I think we're good right in the mud the face here is this this darker brownish color really like a little bit of this maybe into it there's a high 
highlight on it and it comes from the light down and then I see right above the nose it's more of this grayish underneath it it's like the skin part showing through to it. <clears throat> so I'm looking at the, which way the hair is growing on the nose and it's kind of going up like this, but then it kind of comes in like this. There's a change in here of how the hair is growing. Gonna watch where those changes are. And here it gets a little brighter. Maybe not that bright. It's more like this one. And if my stripes go away, I'll just come back in with that black or slate gray. Neo pastel slate gray and bring out those stripes back, which I'll probably do here. At some point. <clears throat> Pick a color. Let's go. Let's go with this one. <laughs> Let's go with this one now. I see it a little lighter there. And we'll go back to this one now. There's a variation, so it varies. It goes from orange to blonde in a real quick second there. I think I'm going to bring in um, maybe this reddish. This is very similar, but I need it to be softer so like the color will show up. I need a darker, you know, more pigment. So this is a Neo Pastel, same color as the Cray Paws, right? Same, but this is softer consistency, so this will sit better. Because the Craypaws doesn't want to, sometimes it just doesn't, just kind of smears around on you. So you got to go a little softer. It's a little bit too bright in there. a little darker brown so I'm trying to find a brown that's a soft consistency um, that's a slate gray let's see what this one is yeah that, that might actually work this is a neo pastel just wanted some darks in there a little bit darker in there right in that bridge where the kind of that indentation where then kind of nose dips into the face.
and what I'm working on is this part here. You can see the color value change between the, say this part and this part. And on the sides of the not you see how the nostrils kind of go up, up. You see a kind of a line of faintness there. That's what I'm trying to do here with this. So I'll try to get that difference in color down in there to sit down there. Right in here. <clears throat> and always remember which direction the hair is growing in. It kind of comes in together like this and then it kind of moves up. of the nose on the sides of the muzzle Work it till it works. I've learned that the more you put in, like the more color I keep adding here, the, the closer it'll be, to, and, and it'll get it'll get easier. I just got to get to that point here where I get enough oil pastel build up here where the colors will really start doing what I want them to do. adding more until I'm until I'm there every little bit I get closer and closer That's uh, I need to blend that in a little. Gotta get that a little bit easier to blend in. Right then we have the nose. Right, a little V shape right across top of that pink now this will be that pink color all right
dark in that spot, right around the eyes. too bright right there. It's an interesting transition coming across that. Just trying to get that just right. I'm not talking as much as I normally do, but <clears throat> just trying to save my voice, honestly. This is a, um, I need to go with a Neo Pastel Pale Yellow because I need it a bit softer now. I got to get that color to sit. Right, and that Neo, that Moon Geo was kind of smearing on me, and now this, this Neo Pastel will sit better. So you see, as we go through the painting, it just gets softer and softer consistency on the, on the um, oil pastel. Deeper pigments, softer consistencies until we have it. So here's that little heart shape area. It's a little bit darker right in there. Same over here, a little bit, a little bit darker, right, right next to that face, muscle part, right there. And then it's brighter. <coughs> Excuse me. Right here. back and forth on these and then we're going to come with a really bright bright on top of that and really pop those whites okay making progress and then I'm going to lower this so we get to the ear so the ear up here it's kind of this white mark triangle shape and then around 
the ear and the interior is a little bit of a darker gray. I use this cocoa gray, it's a neo pastel. Kind of get in the darker part of it. And then the lighter neo pastel right over that to create those little fuzzies. fuzzy hairs in the ear. And then I do need a darker um, This is a um, brown, I need a darker than that. This is a slate gray, looks black. But right in here, it's dark. Right in the deepest part of the ear, it's really dark, almost black. I put a slate gray in there. bit of a pink part because you know the inner chart of the ear is kind of this pink pinkish maybe even a more pronounced pink that's not soft enough oh that's a little that's going a little bit of pink there black part of the ear which is going to use a slate gray for kind of goes around the perimeter of the ear hmm. so I'm looking at this here see the ear there's a little pink in there here you can see a little bit of it to find those darks. <clears throat> I'm going to use the slate gray to bring back some of the um, dark parts of the stripes. Those have to be in there, right? So have to be in there and then we'll use the stump here to kind of blend that in a little what time am I at oh we're in at an hour probably should take a break that's a good time to take a break all right there we are here we have it here's the uh, so far there's that oh, we're getting pretty close we're getting there Probably a couple more hours.